What's going on? It's your big brother Trend. You tuned in to another divine video, a divine message. It's just for you. I don't know what you're going through watching this video right now, but God got a message that he told me to tell you. So if you believe like me, I believe that don't nothing happen by mistake. Everything happens for a reason. So you watching this video for a very special reason because God is about to confirm to you some things that you've been feeling lately and he about to tell you what he doing with your life right now in this new year 2023 all right stay tuned to the end of this video i got something very special i want to give to you and make sure you don't forget to subscribe to my channel man it's your big bro trend g listen god said god said you not like everybody else he didn't make he don't want you to be like everybody else you cut from a different cloth okay god told me to tell you he separated you from everybody else because he chose you see one thing you got to understand is that when god chooses you he pulls you out of the pack he pulls you away from the crowd he pulls you from everything you once upon a time used to knew no and he bring you in a totally different world okay he bring you into a relationship with him and he wants you to get to know him on a much more deeper level. And sometimes getting to know God could be very hard. It could be difficult to understand because God don't speak the same language as man. God speaks in signs, wonders, mysterious ways, but only you can understand it. See, he already knew who you was when he brought you out your mama's womb. God already knew who you was. Okay. He, he, he builds you so that you can understand the language that he speaks. A lot of people don't get to see God like you do. A lot of people don't get to see the works and, and the hand of God on their life the way his hand is on your life. That's one thing you got to understand. See, you probably be looking around and trying to find answers in other people. Do y'all see what I see? Do y'all feel how I feel? Is God propelling you into to doing this is he is he did he tell you the same thing he told me yesterday usually the answer is no and see that's why you never get answers from people around you people that's close to you that's why you never get answers from people who you think got the answers they don't got all the answers you understand one thing you gotta realize is that god chose you he cut you from a different cloth you are not like everybody else and he will make your life feel like nobody understands you like you are misunderstood or something or like you strange or you're not supposed to be thinking the way that you thinking have you been thinking like that lately like man my life is just so unorthodox man like why is this why is why, why is my life so so strange and so difficult? It's just like every time I try to do something, it never goes right for me. Why is that? Why do it feel like I'm having a hard time, you know, expressing myself to people and they don't understand what I'm meaning when I say what I'm saying and stuff like that? Like, why does my life always feel like it's alienish? Like, what is it about me that, that, that nobody likes? What is about you, you know what I'm saying, that uh, people can't find to understand? Like, why, why is it so difficult for you? It's difficult for you because, like I, so, like I told you, God cut you from a totally different cloth. You different. And he wanted, he wants your life to be like this on purpose because he wants you to know that he loves you. All right? He loves you. And, and God do have favorites. I just want to let you know, God do have favorites. And if you find yourself alone a lot, you might be unstable right now. I don't know what your situation is, but you could be unstable. That unstable situation don't mean nothing. If you know you got God in your corner, none of that stuff, none of the things that's happening in your life that appears to be abnormal is abnormal to God. It's normal to God because God like, See, I don't need to I don't need to take you through the same structures and steps as I do everybody else. I don't need to pat you on the back and give you big breaks and uh, let you hit the lottery and stuff like everybody else. See, God don't need to do that for you. God don't need 
God don't need for you to go around people and they compliment you and they praising you and stuff. And you know what I'm saying? He got you. He got you in front of everybody so everybody could see you and stuff like God said, I don't need you to do that. He said, I don't need you to be the head in front of everybody and to be the one shining in the room and stuff. God said, I don't need you to do that. You don't need to do what everybody else do. Because God is with you. See, when you know God with you, you don't have to work as hard as everybody else. You already know he going to help you. You already know he with you. When God with you, you don't got to be the center of attention because you already know you naturally get attention when God, whenever God ready for you to get attention. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you, it's a lot of times you got to understand. One thing you got to understand about God is he's stingy for you. OK, you might be his favorite chosen one. OK, and one thing you got to understand is he jealous. He's a jealous guy and he, he get real stingy when it come down to who you dealing with. Most of the time, the way God wants you to go, it's not the same way everybody else go. Usually when you see everybody going that way, God going to make it hard for you to go that way with everybody else. He wants you to actually go that way. That's how he works. God don't think like man. God, God work in mysterious ways that's totally different, totally unorthodox from the way people think. Okay, so maybe it's some it's some things going on in your life right now. You don't understand, you know, how it's gonna work out. That's God. That's how he operates. He don't want even you to know how it's gonna work out because he's trying to keep you for he's trying to keep you trusting in him. If he made it easy for you to figure out, you wouldn't even trust in God. You'll start believing in yourself like everybody else. And that's why they never make it to where they want to go. But see, when you don't know how you're going to get to where you're trying to go, and it's, it, it just seems like, man, I don't even know what I'm going to get into if I go this way. I don't even know what's going to happen if I make this decision. I don't know what's going to happen if I relocate. I don't understand. If that's you then you right where you need to be. God got you right where you need to be because that's how he worked in mysterious ways. Anytime you can't understand what's going on in your, in your life, that's God working in your life because he, he deleting the thoughts in your mind so you don't be able to think your way through it because he got a special present for you on the other side. Listen, because you special, you special. And like I told you, he, God told me to tell you, listen, you cut from a totally different cloth. You're not like everybody else. You're not supposed to do what everybody else is doing. And people is not going to like you for this. They're going to say, how is it that you able to do your own thing and you still not failed yet? Like you still doing your thing, man, and you don't even need nobody help. You don't need nobody to hold your hand. You don't need no handout. You don't need nobody to give you nothing. People are going to say, how is she still shining and we haven't hung together in months how is it you'll have people still looking at you from high school and you'd be like yo that's such and such you still you still know me they still watching you people that used to be your friends from back in the days people that you used to hang out with at lunchtime at the cafeteria bro they still watching you you know why because they know god is with you they know it's something special about you. But see, the thing is, God got them into the position to where they can never understand it. They can't never understand it. Listen, God wants you to live your life and do you. He wants you to do you. If you the chosen one like you think you is, most of the time, God don't want you to really enjoy that with, with people that he don't, he don't um, you know, that he not approving. You know what I'm saying? You probably be like, man, why I can't enjoy this with my friend? Or, man, why me and my uh, specific person, me and my boyfriend or girlfriend having problems right now? It's because God don't want them to go with you where he about to take you. He cut you from a different cloth. And see, y'all trying to make it work. Y'all trying to make it work because y'all think that's the right thing to do. God said, no, I'm not going to let you go to where your, 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 to the promised land because you got somebody on your, on your, in your corner who ain't trying to see the vision. You got somebody in your corner that don't really see your vision. They not really motivated to go where you trying to go. And you sitting there trying to carry them along. No, God said, oh, I'm not going to do nothing for you. If you get rid of them, I will. And I'm telling you, when you start doing things the way God does things and you start just following in, you start just being inspired. 
to do the things that you want to do the way that you want to do them. Stop looking for other people to validate your decision making. Oh, is this the right thing to do, sir? Boss, boss, is, can I go to get some? Yeah, you can go get some. Is these the right kind of clothes I supposed to? Listen, do everything the way you want to do it. Your style is your style. Your decisions is your decisions. God don't got nobody else that he that he report to and, and, and he got to ask, can I do this? No, God do it by himself. That's what he's trying to get you to understand. Start doing all the things you want by yourself. Even though people ain't going to like you for it, people going to hate you for it. They're going to say, oh, you think you all this. You, you trying to do something different from us. See, no, I'm not riding with the pack no more. And see, people get mad at you when you ain't riding with the pack, when you ain't riding with the crowd. You know what I'm saying? You ain't rocking out the way we rock out. You ain't wearing your clothes the way we wear our clothes, then we don't like you. You a bad person. You trying to be something that you not. No, I'm being myself. Somebody comment below and say, I'm being myself. People will get mad at you when you don't follow the status quo. People get mad at you when you don't fall in line. People get mad at you when you don't answer the phone call. Because they all they all think that it's cool to be somebody that they not. Everybody just wants to do what everybody else is doing. And see, God don't want you to be like everybody else. He wants you to do your own thing because he's trying to take you to places that you've never been. God trying to do things in your life that ain't never happened in your family before. But first thing you got to understand is you got to break all them generational curses. Because one thing you got to understand about generational curses is if you if you continue to do the same thing that everybody else in your family has always been doing, you're going to always be held back, just like most of the people in your family. And see, that's the problem with most of the people in your family. They just doing the same thing that they that they relative did and then they mama did and they mama did and they daddy did and they grandma did they just all doing the same things and ain't never doing nothing different ain't never breaking no curses just repeating the cycle the same old boring habitual cycle over and over and over again like a tape recorder ain't never ain't never changing changing their lifestyle ain't never nothing never never gonna change nothing never gonna change until you start doing something different you're gonna always see the same results in your life and like I said, if you want to break these generational curses that continuously hold you back mentally, emotionally, spiritually, generational curses try to hold you back and try to make you feel bad for being different. Generational curses try to make you feel bad for speaking out and, and saying how you really feel. Now, you if you say that, then ain't nobody going to like you. Don't nobody like me now anyway. What is going to hurt? It ain't going to hurt nobody. Huh? But see... That's how people will start treating you. People will start giving you their opinion and making you think that their opinion is more important than where God is trying to take you. Stop listening to people's opinion about what you need to do with your life. If God is calling you to go to uh, 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 Jerusalem, go to Jerusalem. If God is calling you to be the boss of the other company, damn it, step up and go take the classes and the get the certifications you need to do to be the boss. You feel me? If God is saying, I want, I want you to be a tourist so you can travel the world, get be a tourist. Get your passport stamped up and go start traveling the world. Don't worry about no people out there. That, hey, you, yeah, you know that the flights is getting delayed. You know if you go back over, you know if you go over there, you might not be able to come back. That country ain't no good over there. They blowing stuff up over there so bad. If your plane fly over there, that might shoot your plane down. You can have so many people that, that try to tell you what's best for you. What's best for you ain't got nothing to do with them. When God got a calling on your life, when God is trying to propel you into the future uh, and into the life of your dreams, you got to get in the habit of ignoring people, man. To hell with them. Let them figure out their own path and their own life. You ain't responsible for adults. But they'll make you feel like you're responsible for adults. They'll make you feel like you got to listen to their opinion. You got to listen to them. They older than you. You have to listen. You ain't got to listen to the grandma and them. God said you cut from a different cloth. You are not like everybody else. That's why your life seems so odd. 
That's why when you start doing different things, you feel like uneasy, like, ah, am I doing the right thing? Is this, am I supposed to be here? Yeah. You just ain't used to it because like I said, in your bloodline, everybody been doing the same thing and ain't no, not, ain't nobody ever did nothing to, or decided to do nothing spontaneous or nothing out of the, out of this world. You know what I mean? They never decided to do nothing great. You know what I'm saying? So follow your own path, man. And just, just, and just accept your differentness. You different, you different. You know you different. Believe in yourself. Walk on your path and, and be proud of it. Stop listening to people's opinions. Stop listening to people's beliefs. What, what God got for you is totally different from what he got for them. If they want to get mad and feel some kind of way, let them be in their feelings then. They ain't, they ain't got nothing to do with you. So, I don't know who this message resonated with today, man, but I hope that gave you the confidence to believe in yourself and to do, your, do what you do best the way that you want to do it. I guarantee you, if you listen to what I'm saying in this video, I guarantee your life will be better than ever before, man, because you finally get to listen to you for a chance. You know, instead of instead of being being dictated and told what to do, you finally listening to yourself for a chance and you finally believing in what God put in your heart to do and, and you walking in it. And that's what make God proud when you listen to his voice, not everybody else's voice. When you listen to his voice, when you go with his plan, man, everything that you always wanted to happen for you, it begins to happen for you, man. Effortlessly. So. That being said, thank y'all so much for watching. If this video resonated with you, make sure you save it. Make sure you share it. Comment below. Don't forget to comment below, man. Lost information for the chosen ones is still below. Volume 1, Volume 2. Coupons added. With that being said, um, make sure y'all stay tuned to the next video. I will be uploading another video today, man. It's your big bro, Trend. Peace.